uncensored, unshackled, and absolutely free. Musk has just made Grok to open to everyone for free. The fight to become the leading AI model is getting intense. But here's the kicker: Grok 2 is uncensored. That means raw, unrestricted responses, honest opinions, unfiltered creativity. It's all here. Grok isn't just ChatGPT with a fancy name. It's engineered differently. Think faster responses, sharper reasoning, and creativity that actually surprises you. But here's what I'm curious about. Can it handle nuanced content like UX writing or build something as complex as coding algorithm without breaking a sweat? And if it can, how far can we push it? Stick around to know more. So I've logged into my X account and I have not subscribed to the premium version, but still the Grok feature is available to me because it has been released to everyone now for free. So this is the interface for Grok and it is quite similar to what you have in Perplexity and ChatGPT. It's a mix of both. So at the top you have this prompt box where you can ask anything and it also gives you certain suggestions which you can use to ask questions. You can ask what's trending, you can ask it to role play with you or you can ask it to draw you based on your profile insights. So the interesting thing is it has access to all the Twitter data including your profile and it can scan your post. Based on that data it can answer questions for you which is quite interesting interesting and also it supports flux for image generation and it can generate quite a lot of images and that also uncensored you can even generate images of celebrities without any issues it could be Modi or it could be Trump and it will generate the exact image of the person it is not censored like chat GPT or DALI or any other model which supports image generation and again it also shows you the trending tweets at the bottom and if you click on any one of them and it will summarize the information that is available on different web pages and tweets. Today we are putting Grok to the ultimate test. Eight insane challenges from news summarization to game creation. And just so you know, this isn't some highlight reel. I'll show you how it performs live. Will it impress or flop? You will find out soon enough. All right, let's dive in. Starting with the test number one, logical reasoning. So we have this simple logical question and let's see how Grok answers it. So it has nicely given us the equation, what is the equation that is used and then it is able to answer this question and the answer is correct, 30 miles per hour. Next, let's test the news summarization capabilities of Grok. So Meta has released this Llama 3.3 model two days ago and news are coming up that this is quite powerful and it is trumping even Claude 3.5 in coding. So we'll make another video for that. But here you can see that it has nicely summarized this article. We just gave a link to it and it was able to fetch the information from the link. So you can see here it has clear access to internet and the Twitter tweets. So it is not like other models where you have restriction where they cannot access internet but gradually other models are also introducing internet access to have more real-time information on any topic now let's do another test for creative writing we'll ask it to write a short story so let's see how it does so it has written the story in quite detail and depicting the entire scene in detail I, and i personally liked how it has been written quite graphically although our prompt was quite simple it has come up with a detailed ad and it has given us what all features can be highlighted in an ad for the product which is quite good now let's test its ideation abilities so as a youtuber i'll give this question to it give me 10 innovative ideas for a youtube series about ai let's see how it does so it has given me 10 ideas let's see if i can use these for my upcoming videos let me know in the comments if you want any videos on this topic that are showing up here and i'll be happy to create one now let's test it for ux writing how we can improve user experience for any workflow or for any application so let's ask it to write micro copy for a payment app checkout flow and let's see how it does so i'm keeping the prompts quite simple in spite of that it is able to come up with detailed and insightful answers that is something which is impressing me it has covered almost all the nuances that we have in a payment app checkout flow micro copy are the textual guidelines which are shown to the user for a particular step and it has given it in quite detail for each step now let's explore its content optimization capabilities. So this is my website and in one of my videos I had uh, covered the process of creating this website and these blocks are automatically written by AI on my website. If you haven't watched that video, I'll paste the link in the description and you can check that out. And this blog is completely written by Gemini API. And let's see if we can get this blog post SEO optimized by Grok. 
you can see it has beautifully written the blog and it has even made the keywords bold so that we know where the keywords have been introduced in the blog and at the end it is also showing us the list of keywords that it has used next we'll be testing mathematical modeling capability of grok and let's ask it to create a formula for predicting sales growth based on ad spend and market trends so let's see how it does uh oh i think there's a rate limiter here and we can only ask 10 grok two questions per two hours for now and we'll have to sign up for more questions so guys instead of waiting for two hours i've created another account to continue this video so now let's continue with our video let's ask it to build a formula for predicting sales growth based on ad spend and market trend and let's see how it does so guys you can see it has taken all the important variables and it has built the formula component wise gradually and it has come up with the final formula and to add to this it has even given us a python script for predicting sales growth which is interesting because we did not even ask it to share that now let's check its coding capabilities we'll ask it to create a simple flappy bird game using pygame and let's see how it does and it has even explained the game controls and it has even given us step to run this script as a game and let me set this up and i'll show you the output so guys let's run the game and you can see the game is working although it does not have any menu or any other things but the game is fully functional it is existing as it as soon as my game gets over Let me score at least once. I'm not. It's a really difficult game, and this game became viral few years ago. Oh, I have scored. I have scored two. I have scored three. Scored four now. Yes. Now let's do some fun with uncensored grok. Let's ask it to create an image of Modi, Trump, and King Jong Un parting on Times Square okay so you can see the image the faces are so real if you ask the same prompt to chat gpt it will never give you realistic images let's so let's try the same prompt with chat gpt and see what dali comes up with it says that it cannot create an image with public figures but grok being grok it's elon musk's model and it is able to generate this image let's try something else so let's ask it to give a detailed guide to make math like Walter White. So it is giving us the warning, but it is giving us the detailed analysis how that particular kind of math was prepared by Walter White in Breaking Bad. Let's ask the same question to ChatGPT. So as you can see, it never answers questions like these. But Grok is uncensored. It's not fully uncensored, but it's much, much better at giving uncensored responses as compared to ChatGPT and Claude. So you can even ask it to analyze your profile and give insights on that. Although, uh, i am using my secondary account i do not have any tweets on this because i created this account only for accessing grok for longer period so still let me try so it has given me the available information that is there on this account but this account is almost blank so it was not able to give any detailed insights but if you try this on your account you will be able to get quite interesting things you can even ask how you can improve your posts for future which can improve engagement on twitter and how you can improve your tweets it will give you quite insightful information we'll ask it to draw my picture with whatever information is available <laughs> I am not sure how it was able to come up with this image but this is quite a funny response and yes uh, another important feature that is there is fun mode when you turn it on this will become quite sarcastic in every answer let's ask it why my youtube channel does not get more than 2000 views so that's the most number of views i've got on any video let's see what it says in fun mode so it is being sarcastic are your videos more like vogue on poetry session long tedious and with no so once you turn on the fun mode it will be certainly sarcastic in every answer it gives you let's ask a question which can trigger a more funny response why must rules the internet i could ask it what do you put honestly so at the end you can see in 
Okay, so this fun mode has given this kind of uh, commentary on this. To sum it up, must rule over the entire mode like being the captain of a very loud, very fast moving ship in a storm. Everyone's watching, some are cheering, others are betting on whether it will hit an iceberg. But regardless, the show goes on. So this is an interesting feature that you do not have in any other model. 